and welcome to day 24 of your book advent. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. This chapter is called The End, so fingers crossed Winston finds Father Christmas. All was white and silent. The minutes ticked by. Eventually, Winston managed to open his eyes and a great buzzing and ringing sounded in his ears. He crawled out from under the snow. He had no idea where he was or even how far he had travelled from Fortescue's. What am I going to do now? He whispered to himself. Everything seemed hopeless. The letter, Christmas, finding somewhere safe and warm for himself out of the storm. He stood as, as best he could in the wind and looked all around. He felt utterly lost and alone. Across the great expanse of the rooftop where he had crashed, someone was moving about. He glimpsed a blur of red. He realised that this could be his only hope of getting down from the roof. The snow swirled and the figure disappeared into the whiteness. Oh, where did they go? He was so tired and achy now that he could barely stand. The figure in red swam into view. Winston looked again, trying to make out who it was. Oh, it couldn't be. Wait, wait, cried Winston, but his squeaks were snatched away by the wind. He'd have to give chase he thought, so he pitter-pattered across the roof as fast as his tiny feet would carry him, waving the envelope above his head. The snow was coming thick and fast, the wind was howling, and everything was white and so confusing. It was like being in a snow globe that was being madly shaken about. Wait! Winston squeaked again. He couldn't walk another step. A blast of wind knocked him over, and he landed on top of the envelope with a bump. He was too exhausted to get up again, so he just lay there, shivering. A few moments later, the figure, the figure appeared again out of the whiteness. He was small and round, with a fluffy white beard and red rosy cheeks, peeking out like two cherries on top of an ice cream. He was bundled up against the chill in a cheerful outfit. Winston opened one eye as wide as he could and smiled weakly. I knew I would find you, he squeaked. Father Christmas cocked an ear, but he heard a noise. It was a tiny and squeaky sort of noise, but he definitely heard it. it sounded like a mouse. But what on earth would a mouse be doing on a rooftop in this awful weather? He looked around him and spotted what looked like broken remains of a toy plane sticking out of the snow. Then he spotted something else. Lying on the ground, almost completely covered in the snow, was the tiniest mouse he'd ever seen. And he seemed to be holding on something very tightly. We all know what he's holding on to very tightly. Father Christmas picked Winston up and carefully placed him in the warmth of his pocket. Then he looked with interest at the damp and crumpled piece of paper the little creature had been holding. It was an envelope and it was addressed to him. And inside, a letter from Oliver, the little boy who lived above the toy shop on Mistletoe Street. Father Christmas scratched his head for a moment. He hadn't heard from Oliver this year. He thought that the boy had forgotten to write to him, but now he had the letter in his hand. Had it got lost in the post? Could that tiny little creature have been trying to, to deliver it? Surely not on a fearful night like this. It seemed unbelievable, but yet here was a mouse on the rooftop holding a letter in his little paws. Extraordinary, said Father Christmas, shaking his head. He tucked Oliver's letter into his jacket for safety and carefully reached into his pocket. Winston had found a spare glove in there and had curled up inside nice and warm. So Father Christmas picked up, picked him up, glove and all, and looked at him. What about you? He said quietly as he stroked Winston's head. What would a brave little thing like you wish for Christmas? Winston didn't say anything. He was fast asleep. He just snuggled deeper into his warm makeshift sleeping bag and snored loudly. I see, said Father Christmas and his eyes twinkled magically. He looked up at the sky. The wind had stopped howling and the blizzard had calmed. So the snow was once again falling lazily on the city. I think I've got one extra delivery to make before the morning. 
he said, and he put Winston carefully back in his pocket. I'm into his sleigh, and with a flick of the reins, took off over the rooftops and up into the night sky. I hope you all sleep well tonight and see you tomorrow for day 25 of our book advent.